everybody and thanks for clicking on this video. But before we begin today, I'd love to thank the sponsors for today's episode, HIMS, the US online service for men that ships prescription and non-prescription based medicine to your door after you chat in person with real doctors online about slightly embarrassing body issues from the comfort of your own home. And there's nothing wrong with feeling a little bit awkward about particular body issues for sure, but not getting them checked out is a little bit silly. So for anyone out there that isn't a fan of going out in person to diagnose these things, HIMS exists for that purpose. Just so that the guys don't feel completely alone with this, for example, did you know that hair loss in particular affects up to 66% of guys by age 35. If you'd like to find out more, then please go to the link in the description below to see how HIMS can help you out with hair loss in particular today and help you get started with a comprehensive hair kit for just $5. But there's tons of other things for tons of other kinds of body issues and it's all science based with medical grade solutions and I can't recommend the service enough. It's a great alternative to pharmacies and it also cuts out the middleman. So thanks again to HIMS for sponsoring and please enjoy the video. Greetings and salutations, Nathaniel Foger! And welcome to the Kedekura Show, where I was having the duty of deciding whether or not Nathaniel Foger deserves to be slaughtered or salvaged. And I bet you're all wondering right now, who on earth is Nathaniel Foger? Well, I'll tell you who he is. He is the delightful chap who gave me George of the Jungle on PS2. See me here? This is how this makes me feel just looking at the game. And now after playing the game, oh my shite, I feel even worse. Like that. Yeah. Did you know that George of the Jungle, the cartoon from the 60s that the movie was based on, had another cartoon based off of the movie based off of that cartoon, based off of Tarzan, the book, that was then made into a movie and then 50 other movies and then a cartoon, and then into another cartoon, well yeah, that George of the Jungle had a cartoon from 2007, made in Flash, couldn't keep the same voice actor for the main character for the two seasons it was allowed to run, and somehow it got a video game adaptation. I know some of the worst properties in history have had video games built on them, but they're usually built off of, you know, the success of the thing they're cashing in on, so that they can, you know, cash in on the thing that's successful. Here you have a mediocre, if not outright bad cartoon series that nobody remembers that then got a video game on the PS2 when the PS3 was already out for a year and a half. I don't understand the thought process behind any of this. And you guys know that I adore donations and I hugely appreciate them, but Nathaniel, why this? Look at it. George of the Jungle and the search for the secret. How much more bland and unspecific of a game title could you get than that? I don't know, but let's at least try to enjoy it. I mean, there's no point in judging a book by its cover unless it's irritating stick. So here we go. Uh, company intro logos. <laughs> Crave? Yeah, I'm craving another game to play right now. Ignition? <laughs> yeah, I want to turn on the ignition and drive over this piece of shit. Papaya? <laughs> yeah, I'd rather eat a papaya. Havoc? Yeah, I bet I'm going to be causing a bit of havoc when I'm done with this game. Classic media? Oh yeah, that's something that the critics of the time never said when this particular bit of media came out. Bullwinkle Studio? Okay, I have a joke for you all today. How many companies does it take to make George of the Jungle on PS2? Six. One to write the title, one to draw the cover, and the other four to fuck all that! God, why am I already angry with this? We haven't even started it. Let's at least just get that far. Come on. And here's the title screen. Are you not grateful for your life yet? I mean, Jesus, those choppily cut out images of our main character are bad enough, but have you heard that music? What's the first thing you think of when you think of George of the Jungle? Well, jungles. So musically, what would we have? Bongos? Timpanies? Woodwind instruments? No! Just take the original theme that everyone already knows and turn it into a rap song. Now when he gets in a scrape, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend and eight name eight. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant chef while Maggie and Ursula stay in <laughs> What is my name? Good question, and I have a good answer. Flump cum. Wait, what? It's red. I can't click to continue. Oh, but I always wanted to see what Flump Cum looked like. <laughs> okay, then so maybe it was too many characters. Let's make it simple. Fuck. Wait. What? Fuckle? No. Bastard? No. But what if that's my name? Basically, it appears that you aren't allowed to swear in this name entry screen, so let's trick it. How about Knob? Yes! Perfect. 
not interesting enough though, so, um, yep, knobhead. The intro begins and none of the dialogue matches with the mouth movements. Nope! Something much, much, much more important! So we're off to a great start already, but please tell me, game, are we doing anything exciting? What's the story here? Fine soccer practice! Oh. Football? Seriously? I mean, at least you're being honest and upfront about how uninteresting you are, judge of the joggle, so I suppose we could just ignore the rest and carry on. Well, well, I mean, that is if I could hear anything. My head feels like it's gonna fall off, and my hair would not look My head fell off. I'm already annoyed, and I haven't even taken a single step in the actual game. What more can the game throw at me that I have no clue? Well, wait! Wait! What the fuck is that sack? Now we're in Ratatouille. Wait, wait what? You're a chef? In the jungle, what the hell is going on? I've been working on a cure for the common cold that will make the girls better. I very, very rich. I never thought George of the Jungle would make me uncomfortable, but it just did. Okay, so we aren't doing any football anymore, and now we're getting a book bag that has research in it to cure the common cold. Yeah, in the fucking jungle, researched by a goddamn chef. Not in the first world with millions of dollars worth of research, a guy from Ratatouille is going to save the world from the most common incurable illness in the world, relying on a brainless ape man to get the research back. I'm totally lost, and the game appears to be totally lost too, because I start it off and it's black. Brilliant. This isn't a screenshot either, I promise you. The game is just broken. Ah, ah see? Look, look, I got Got something. Something. Well, obviously the game doesn't want me to play, so I'm offline. <laughs> okay, not really. It's a donation game. I am very grateful. Let's give it another shot. Come on. George of the Jungle and his trusted friend, an ape named Ape, are on their way to an important I, I, jungle mission. I can't skip it. It's not skipping. I can't skip it. You're shitting me. I can't skip it. Every button isn't working. Why would you force anyone to sit through this more than once? I also just realised that the subtitle for this game is indeed The Search for the Secret, but we're actually looking for a research book. Not exactly a secret, is it? So I think the game should have been renamed to George of the Jungle and The Search for the Thing that we know exactly what it is. So the game starts and decides to work, finally, and... Holy shit, this game came out in 2008. Okay, so it isn't the absolute worst thing I've ever seen, but there's a big issue here I'm sure you can all see. The European PS1 and PS2 didn't run their games as smooth as the NTSC counterparts because of our TVs being stupid with the Hertz count. So the fact this doesn't run at a smoother frame rate than what it should be on my PS2 makes the game look a hell of a lot worse than it actually is. If you think this is me deliberately tampering with the speed of the game or anything, nope. Check out any other YouTube video and you can see. This is how slow the game goes. So in the past version it's ten times worse having a game this slow run this choppily. It's more unresponsive than my granny and she's dead. There's no good music either and instead of constant screeching of something in the background to keep you company. <laughs> There's a lack of any kind of sound effects that have any crunch or bounce to them to cut through the muddy, shitty music as well, and basically, in the visual and audio department, it's a totally lifeless game representing cartoons, the jungle, and just family-friendly platforms everywhere. Just to make you realise, Metal Gear Solid 4 came out in 2008, and okay, that's the PS3, but on the PS2, MGS2 came out in 2001, seven years before this. No fucks were given in Junge of the Jorgle. Christ on a bike, even George's face doesn't change once or react to anything that's happening. Come on, that's PS1 level, guys. Look at him exerting his strength. Go on, George, work through the pain. Even when he dies, he looks exactly the same. <sighs> at least you can make him sit down and shit in the woods like the wretched animal he truly is. I mean, look, this is where gaming was in 2008, folks. Far Cry 2, Dead Space, Gears of War 2, and low resolution static monkey anus with this face loving every second of it. Is that what I'm gonna see when I end up in heaven? Because if it is, I think I'd rather go to hell. George, George, George from Peppa Pig, watch out for that axe. This is a platformer though, so how is the jumping? It's unresponsive enough as it is with the stupid frame rate, but aside from that, the double jump barely works when it needs to. You'll miss inputs countless amounts of times to the point of you just inputting the double jump immediately after the regular jump just to make sure that you do it. The problem with that being that the jump isn't as good or as long as it could be, so what's even the point of doing it that way? Swinging on vines has absolutely no momentum as well, just double jump off of them and hope for the best. And wall jumping, god, sometimes it works fine, but most of the time it, it just doesn't. Look, it, it just doesn't. Why doesn't it? I don't know. It's Drunch of the Draw, whatever it is. Combat! <laughs> 
You hit one button over and over again and you win. The same goes even for boss battles. Hit a button, run away, hit a button, run away, win. Also, I love how even if you hold the right button during an attack so you can keep close to the enemy, sometimes you keep close and get the hit detection to work, and other times you seriously just fuck off right past them with the enemies being really sad about it. Oh man, what did I say? But talking of hit detection, it's simply fucked on its own anyway. In boss one, I definitely shouldn't have taken any damage right there. Oh, and get this. See this charge attack? That's what it's supposed to do. You charge up holding the button, keep holding the button to run, and then hit your target and end up vulnerable for a second or two. But here, watch. Charge the button, run off, and then all of a sudden I'm vulnerable without touching anything, and then I'm executed. Enemies are also allowed to multi-attack you, but you are way too sluggish and slow to either attack straight back or even run away because you get locked in place every time you get hit, so... Ah. I fall from a failed double jump here and land in a ghastly cloud of black gas. And despite all of this, all of this utter bullshit, I managed to beat boss one after losing four lives and I'm so happy about it that I start beating the air up. I mean, what else can I say about George of the Jungle on PS2? Does anything improve? in a game called George of the Jungle for the PS2. Uh, isn't that already kind of a redundant question? How is one supposed to deal with an enemy running five times as fast as you and already attacking when you cannot physically move or attack in time? I don't know, and Judge of the fucking Jungle doesn't know either. Charge run into the trees with imprints on them for special rewards to fall down. Great. Oh. I suppose we should correct that to say charging into trees with imprints on gives you fuck all. Also, whenever this move does work, fall from the trees, nope, the rewards just kinda don't exist. Then they do. Whoa, watch out Nathan Drake, in 2007 you may have been doing a few quick time action scenes to save the world, but if you're gonna do them, at least do it like 2008 George of the Jungle here. Why can't I crawl here? Charging doesn't work. So what the hell do I do? Oh, duck and then attack to roll? So wait, you give me a tutorial on how to charge, which is just one button, and I already figured out how to do it by just pressing the buttons, but then at this point where you desperately need to progress, the game doesn't tell you this vital move that has a specific combination of buttons you wouldn't logically just try out on your own. Oh, locked into a combo with no way to get out. Game over. The future level simply must be the same thing. Why would it be any different if it's like this at this point? It's like Bubsy 3D, you know? You don't need to play more than two levels sometimes to get the idea, and I don't think George of the Jungle has any point at all. No point in his show, no point in his game, and no point in his fucking pants. So unsurprisingly, George of the Jungle gets the slaughter today. And consider yourself lucky, Nathaniel. Because you were such a lovely chap when I met you in person, you aren't getting the slaughter today. And to all of you that think about donating a game to this channel in the future, please consider this video a warning. I have no issue, no problem at all with shooting a stupid game in its stupid face because it's plastic. Plastic hasn't got feelings. But human beings... Human beings have feelings. And I will have no problem, no hesitation, of ending your feelings forever. If people keep sending me malodorous tripe such as this, your life may be on the line next. Again. I'm not scared. I will help you. So if it's your birthday today while watching this video, happy freaking birthday to you, and please remember to stay beautiful. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching this stupid video on PS2's version of George of the Jungle. I, I don't even know what to say. A special thanks to all the names on the screen right now for helping support the channel during some of YouTube's stupidest shit. And of course, special, special thanks to all the top tier Patreon supporters in the description below. Omar Matu, Basil, Patrick Ferguson, Andy Ellis, Robert Alamsha, I Have a Portal Gun, Gamer Man, Thomas Olsen, Mills Kahai, Alicia Knightley, Super Spyro Fan 2010, Daniel Leon, Jane Ives, Carsten, Mitchell Reed, Tiago Pereira, A.D. Thornton-Smith, Oblivion Rising, Noxious, Ellen Rilpley, Kirsten B., QB, Nathan Young, and Nicole Ganara. Thank you so much, every single one of you.